Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss 2025 QuickBooks Online Level 2 Certification Exam Answers. Section 3 Banking So let's dive in. What is the first step in setting up a corporate credit card account with multiple cardholders in QuickBooks? A. Linking the corporate card to a bank account. B. Adding the primary cardholder's details. C. Creating a new parent account in the chart of accounts. D. Assigning spending limits to each cardholder. Answer of the question is option C. Creating a new parent account in the chart of accounts. Which of the following statements about reconciling corporate credit card accounts are true? Match the method to the use case, and then select Submit. A. You need to reconcile the parent account and the sub-accounts. B. If you reconcile a sub-account, any reconciled transactions will disappear from the reconciliation window for the parent account. C. You can reconcile one sub-account if you wish, but you don't have to reconcile them all separately. D. Charges and interest show as separate purchase transactions. Answer of the question is option B. If you reconcile a sub-account, any reconciled transactions will disappear from the reconciliation window for the parent account. Most payment transactions from the payment bank account to the primary sub-account? Select an options you think apply, and then select the button in the top right corner to continue. A. When you're making payments from multiple bank accounts. B. When you're not paying off the full credit card statement balance. C. When you're paying off the full credit card statement balance. D. When you want to split the payment between different sub-accounts. Answer of the question is option B. When you're not paying off the full credit card statement balance. informed you that one of their customers has bounced a check. The bank indicates the check was returned for insufficient funds and they are charging a $35 return check fee. Your client wants to pass on this charge to their customer. How should they do this? A. Delete the payment received record. B. Create a credit memo for the amount of the invoice and bounce check fee. C. Create a new invoice using a bounce check item and bounce check fee item. D. Delete the deposit and re-enter it, excluding the bounced payment. Answer of the question is option C. Create a new invoice using a bounced check item and bounced check fee item. Match for a transaction in the bank feed. A. The date range for searching is incorrect. B. The corresponding transaction is posted to the wrong bank account. C. The corresponding transaction is already reconciled. D. The amount of the transaction recorded in QuickBooks is different from the amount that cleared the bank. Answer of the question is. Option A. The date range for searching is incorrect. Option B. The corresponding transaction is posted to the wrong bank account. Option D. The amount of the transaction recorded in QuickBooks is different from the amount that cleared the bank. How are the individual cardholder accounts, including the primary, structured when setting up a corporate credit card account? A. As independent accounts. B. As sub accounts under the parent account. C. As linked bank accounts. D. As primary accounts with no connection to others. Answer of the question is. Option B. As sub accounts under the parent account. You're setting up corporate credit cards for a client. 
The card on the primary sub account is only used for payments, and you're going to post payment transactions from the payment bank account to the primary sub account. Which account should you link to the bank feeds? A. Parent account. B. Primary sub account. C. Non primary sub accounts. Answer of the question is Option B. Primary sub account. posting credit card payments to the primary sub-account and creating a journal entry to adjust balances. Adopt the total liability will show up in the primary sub-account, and non-primary sub-accounts will show a zero balance. B. The journal entry will be automatically cleared in all sub-accounts. C. The total liability will be distributed equally across all sub-accounts. D. Both the primary and non-primary sub-accounts will show the same balance. Answer of the question is option A. The total liability will show up in the primary sub account, and non primary sub accounts will show a zero balance. Reconcile to the monthly credit card statement. Select an option, and then select Submit. A. Each non primary sub account. B. Primary sub account. C. Parent credit card account. D. Credit card accounts do not need to be reconciled. Answer of the question is option C. Parent credit card account. find a match or suggest an incorrect match between transactions already recorded and transactions in the bank feed. Select all the options you think apply, and then select the button in the top right corner to continue. A. The amount of the transaction posted in QuickBooks is different from the amount that cleared the bank. B. The transaction is already reconciled. C. The transaction was entered as an adjusting journal entry. D. The transaction was entered as a bank transfer. E. The transaction was posted to the wrong account. F. The date range for searching is not correct. Answer of the question is. Option A. The amount of the transaction posted in QuickBooks is different from the amount that cleared the bank. Option B. The transaction is already reconciled. Option E. The transaction was posted to the wrong account. Option F. The date range for searching is not correct.